I know it's my first message. That's okay. I'm going to heavily judge it. How do you find the motivation to continue and keep going? Like edit video. That was that started really heavy. How do you find the motivation to keep going? Oh, thank God to like edit videos. Whew. I was going to say we're about to get into some serious stuff there. Since English isn't my first language, motivation might not be what I meant, but to give an example, I want to do something, but sometimes I open it and I stare at it or switch to other things. Oh, dude, all the time, all the time. The great thing is you don't need to find motivation because motivation is a fickle mistress. Motivation is ephemeral. It comes and goes. If you wait until you're motivated to do something, you will never do anything. The secret when people go, oh yeah, I'm always motivated. I'm always motivated. No, you're not. That's a lie. Motivation is what we tell people when they can't be bothered to do things for themselves. Discipline is what keeps you doing it. When I'm sitting there editing a video, I am not motivated to do it. I don't wake up and think, oh boy, oh golly, oh gosh, I get to edit some videos today. I hate that. It's boring. It's dull. It's repetitive. I get up out of my chair and walk around my room every 10 minutes because I hate sitting down to do it. What keeps me doing it is the discipline of knowing that I need to just sit and do it. Sometimes I sit down. I edit on shortcut because I can't be bothered to learn anything else. And I think, right, I don't want to edit, but I do know that while editing, the program needs to be open. So I open the program. I don't want to, but I know it needs to be. And then while editing, I think, okay, if I've got the program open, I probably need a folder open with all of the files that I'm going to be editing. I'm not going to start editing yet. I'm just going to open the folder. And I open the folder and I'm thinking, okay, that file probably needs to be in the editing software for me to actually work with it and manipulate it. I'm not going to start editing yet. I'm just going to put the file over into the software. And then I'm thinking, okay, the file probably needs to be on the timeline so I can start doing stuff. I don't want to do it, but I'm just going to put the file onto the timeline. Okay, and now I don't actually need this part of the footage, so I can just cut that and then delete that part. I'm not going to start editing yet. I don't want to, but I'm, I know I need to do that, so I start doing that. Then I get another file and go, right, this is the next bit that goes to there. I'm not going to start editing yet, but I'm just going to cut that bit and then put that file over the top of it so it blends into the next bit of footage. And at the end of the day, I'm thinking, oh man, I'm really glad I haven't had to edit because I am not motivated, despite the fact I've edited 15 to 20 minutes worth of video. You gaslight yourself into doing the project and you don't sit there and go, I'm going to wait till I'm motivated because I'll let you in on a creative secret. People that have creative jobs absolutely love it when other people wait until they're motivated because that means you won't do anything and therefore you're not going to be competing with me. I love it when people wait till they're motivated. When someone comes up to me and goes, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. My brain goes, fuck, now I've got to do something or they might overtake me. Motivation's a fickle mistress, mate. Don't wait for it. Discipline is what keeps you going. I don't feel motivated to do half the stuff I do. I don't enjoy doing it. You're not going to have a blast with every single thing you do, but you're going to do it. That's what you're going to do. I do this with clearly, yeah, cleaning my house. I'm not motivated to go and get the hoover and hoover up all the carpets in my house. I'll do it. I'm motivated to do it. Motivation is good, but where's your uniform? <laughs> Don't ruin it. As a creator, I confirm everything you said is true. Yeah, I, I hate it when people go, oh yeah, I'm super disciplined. One of the favorite ones was, you guys know the actor Michael Caine? Someone once said to Michael Caine, oh, you've, you're extremely talented. You know, you've got a load of motivation. And Michael Caine replied, I am a disciplined actor. Whether I have talent or motivation is irrelevant. You will tend to find, and this is true, okay? This is very, very true. Half of the, probably more than half, of the process to succeeding is literally just turning up. Okay, I can't levitate now because I don't have enough knowledge to levitate, but I can use my wizard staff. Cool. Half of succeeding is just turning up. Seriously, just turn up. Just because most people won't turn up. Most people will talk a big game about turning up and then not turn up. Just being there. Have you ever met someone who is incredibly dumb or underqualified or in your mind, you're just thinking, how the hell did you do this? You ever met someone and you just have got no idea how on earth that person can have succeeded? I'll tell you how they succeeded. They probably just turned up and no one else did. There is this lovely sweet spot and you need to be in it. It's horrible, 
but here's the truth. There is a, a level of self-belief and a level of knowledge where you are smart enough to be able to do the thing, but dumb enough to not doubt yourself. I try and be there all the time. Have you ever thought, I'm not going to do this project because this is too difficult. I can see all the problems that are in front of me. Smart people are smart enough to know how difficult something is going to be to do. And so they decide not to even start it. People that are smart enough to do the thing, but just dumb enough to not know how difficult the thing is going to be to do, they start it. And when they get to the first problem, they solve it because all of their brain power is focused on that problem, because in their mind, this could, there can be no other problems. This is the only one. So they solve it. Then they get to the next problem, which the really, really smart person, they would have seen it ages ago, but they wouldn't have started, because they would have seen so many problems, it would have intimidated them. It would have been that analysis paralysis thing. It would have been the anxiety of all the issues. But the person who's just dumb enough to not doubt themselves, they just plow through it and they solve it. And eventually you step back and you look and you go, how are there so many people who seem incapable in charge? Unfortunately, it's because those people are also incapable of doubting themselves. And so they just do the things they need to do. Yeah, I hate it too. I hate it too. Where is this dude? Where is the dude I am looking for? He's got to be somewhere around here. We're going for Marowak's spine, apparently. We've got to go above somewhere. Got to kill. Oh, we're in a Lumbi, aren't we? We're definitely in a Lumbi. How do we stop doubting ourselves? You realise that even if you do doubt yourself, you're going to keep doing it anyway. I'm going to, you know, keep trying to do the things that I need to do regardless. Will I fail? Probably. But that's okay. Failure teaches me things. I'm good with failing at stuff. Done it a lot. Great stuff on turning up. Amount of times I made myself go to the gym without desire. Soon as I exercising goes up 200%. Yes. Also, does Charles dance make you feel a certain way when he speaks? Well, any man who says I am the king is no true king. Yes, he does. He's got that voice. Yeah. So I would say don't wait to be motivated. That is a, a trap that a lot of people fall into. Instead, just turn up. Do the thing. I've got a friend... You guys know when I made the video on Conan, I shouted out the content creator dumb ways to Kai, because he also made the um, the Conan survival game. He's doing a series of worst survival game ever. Me and Kai are good friends. And Kai is going to the gym, okay? Kai is getting jacked. Like, he, he's sending me some progress pictures, and I'm like, dude, you got to stop, because I, I want to, you know, I want to stand next to you and not feel small. You know, you're intimidating me, man. Kai, you've got to be the friend. Kai, it's getting to the point now where if you and me stand next to each other, I'm the ugly one. And I'm not about that life, Kai. But no, in, uh, in all reality, I completely support him and push him to do the absolute best that he possibly can because he is a lovely guy. But most of his work is just turning up. Just turn up. Just go to the gym. Just do it. Just turn up. It sucks, but do it. So the next time you're thinking, oh, I'm not motivated, doesn't matter. You're the only person that knows whether you are or aren't. Nobody else cares. Just do it. Do the thing. You don't need to be motivated to it. Just wake up. Do it. And I know that sounds like the worst advice you ever can possibly give someone. But if you say to yourself, I am not going to wait until I'm motivated. I am just going to do this thing while unmotivated. You will achieve a hell of a lot more than you ever thought you could achieve. Right. Definitely was an enlightening response. I'm sorry it was a long response, but that's just how these streams go. As soon as someone says a, an interesting question, I'm like, oh, ooh, cool content. As someone with crippling anxiety, the more time you spend thinking about something, the less likely you are to act. Yes, the old British military used to have a saying of, first of all, you do the thing you're scared of, and then you spend the time getting the courage to do it. So... If you are ever feeling overwhelmed or scared, be like, okay, cool, I'm going to do this scary thing first, and then after the scary thing is done, we will sit down and work on how brave we have to be to get it. Performing something is in the editing phase. Yeah, very much. Perfecting something is very much in the editing phase. You learn far more from failure than you do from success. So if you are going to attempt to do something and you feel that you cannot succeed, that's okay. 
you can just go ahead, fail, learn something, try again.